Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about two important AI tools. So one is to automate your report generation. So you can select whatever you want, it will automate your report. So next one is a chatbot. So where you can you ask any question related with that chatbot, that chatbot will generate answer for you. And also there are important options available in this chatbot like uploading papers, etc. So let us go on to today's video and explore that two AI tools. An important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct a live MATLAB workshop on EV charging station with PV and wind energy as sources. So in this workshop we are going to uh, make PV and wind energy as a sources. So the both renewable energy will generate uh, that is power uh, required for that EV charging station and we are going to implement the maximum power point tracking in that two of the renewable energy sources to grasp maximum amount of energy from them. And also we are going to incorporate it with EV charging station. So these are the important things we are going to discuss in this workshop and also we are going to have, have how to do a power management power management between a EV charging station and a renewable energy sources. So don't forget to register this online workshop if you are interested in. So the link of the registration will be given in the description of this video. See you on our workshop. Moving on to our today's video. The A tool, the first A tool, what we are going to discuss today is that report GPT. So this A tool will help you to create a new report and automate your new report. So here, this is the dashboard of this report GPT. So in this report GPT, you can click new report. So after that, you can give you a report title. So for example, I am going to give a title machine learning algorithms for MPPT in solar PV system. So like that I am going to give a title. So after that what you can do is you have to type the uh, that is select what kind of report do you want. So here click. So here you can see that research paper, uh, blog post, proposal, essay, other etc. So if you want uh, any report uh, that is a detailed report you can click uh, that is other option or else you can give click research paper. So here you can see that in language you can specify uh, language English and German are available. So I am going to prefer English language. So in this contest what would you, uh, you, that is what would you like to be considered while writing is there is any specific uh, you want to see in your report. So I am going to give a detailed machine learning algorithm comparisons for electric for sorry for solar PV system so this is the uh, consideration I am going to give next what conclusion uh, should the report to lead uh, what should to the main takeaways so conclude with the best sorry conclude with the best machine learning algorithm so like that you can give an input so after that click get started so the important thing is that uh, the approximate length of the report so uh, generate the structure in one token so in one token we have 50 tokens for free so you can generate the structure in one token so here approximately length i am going to give it as a seven page so like that i am going to give so after that click generate structure here you can see that the machine learning algorithm <laughs> for mppt in solar pv system abstract introduction background objectives a scope of study literature review overview of solar pv system previous studies on mppt machine learning in solar pv system methodology Selection of machine learning algorithms, data collection and pre-processing, uh, implementation of MPPT, evaluation metrics, uh, results and discussion, performance evaluation of algorithm, comparison with traditional MPPT methods, discussion, conclusion, summary of the finding, best machine learning algorithm, future, future research directions, references and appendices. This is how so you can have a structure of this report. So after that you can click save say, uh, say changes so just to click on that 
so here you can give uh, you can have this uh, abstract so this is how your content will be generated so here you can see this is how it is generated so here you can see this is the first heading on the abstract so what would you uh, like to take into consideration when writing is there is any specific thing uh, you want in report so like that chapter wise you have to give the input for example uh, i am going to give overall operation operation of the proposed system so generate chapter 1 so here in this uh, you can get the overall operation of the proposed system so here you can see that uh, overall operation is generated in recent years the cost for more efficient and reliable sources has led to the surge in the adoption of solar <coughs> pv system across the globe with the inherent variability in solar energy capture maximizing the power output from the pv system has become critical research area so like that it will automate your uh, that is report after that for the same introduction section so just click here so you can give what is the introduction you want as i have specified in abstract uh, you can give what is the introduction you want so like that in every section of this paper uh, so you can generate a better content so like that you can automate your report or research paper using this report gpt so this will, will be a fantastic report uh, that is fantastic aid tool to automate your research paper writing as well as a detailed report students those who are struggling to make a, or write a research paper or uh, that is project reports or these is our synopsis so you can make use of this option to generate a better content using this report gpt so it will give you a content the only thing is that the important advantage is that so it has asking for an input so in this you have to specify a perfect and a detailed considerations so thereby it will generate a better content for you so you can make use of this report gpt to generate a better content for your research paper writing so hope this brings an hour about how to use this report gpt for your research paper writing so make use of this option to automate your research paper writing and also your report writing using this report gpt so the next tool what we are going to discuss today is that so the next tool is that afford a for a so it's a AI tool so it's a chatbot so here you can see this this is a chatbot or else you can upload a file so and you can chat with that particular tool so apart from this it is having different types of chatbots so here you can enter any question you want that uh, that will generate answer for you So here I have given a basic input prompt like to explain about machine learning algorithms. So here you can see that that chatbot will generate a machine learning algorithms uh, about the machine learning algorithms. So here you can see that supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, semi-supervised learning, deep learning, etc. So like that whatever the uh, thing you want that is whatever the content you want to generate so you can give it as an input prompt. So that prompt will generate content as like in any of the chatbot. So the important thing is that so here you can use this kind of model that is Azure GPT 3.5 model only so you can make use of this option. So this is all about this chatbot. So as far as plans and pricing is concerned in report GPT. So you will be having 50 tokens for free. So like this you can generate a 50 uh, contents for free. So after that if you want to buy tokens you have to go for this subscription option buy tokens. So here you can see if you have few token uh, to generate three entire reports is dollar three. So like that if you need tokens you can buy tokens and use this uh, report GPT. As far as this AA tool is concerned for AA. So here you can see a limited free credits. This is also for uh, that is credits you can have 50 credits for free. So like that uh, for a one query you uh, that is the next query will cost three credits. So like that for every query it will have uh, that is deduce some credits. So like that it is also a limited use up to um, that is 
for free up to only limited credits uh, here in report gpt it is for tokens so you go on and explore and uh, try to generate your content especially those who are generating a theoretical content this will be very helpful for you and students if you want to generate a project report you can make use of this option to generate a project report so this is all about this ai tools this both this ai tools will bring an hour about how to generate a better content uh, using a that is uh, by giving input prompt how to generate a better content and also in report gpt how to give specifications to generate a better content so hope this video will be very helpful for you so thank you for uh, watching our videos go on and explore this report gpt and offer ai so you can get a better idea about it so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you